We know there are many characters in Fairy Tale who have pretty messed up childhood, and even characters who aren't main characters, but one character in particular that has experienced tragedy like no other is our favorite stripper, Grey Fullbuster. So already, in one of the first arcs in Fairy Tale, we find out that Grey was orphaned by Deliora, one of Zeref's demons. We also learn that after becoming an orphan, Grey was introduced to a powerful wizard called Ur, who specializes in ice magic. And so Grey trains under Ur for some time, where he even befriends Ur's other student, Leon Vastya. But one day, when Grey's had enough of tr the training by Ur, he goes out to seek Deliora in order to avenge his parents who fell along with his hometown, all because of this wretched demon. Deliora's rampage throughout the another city is in full swing when Ur actually catches up to Grey and she fights it off in order to protect the helpless Grey. She fought Delora as best she could but in the end after losing a leg and after her magic power is running low, Ur intends to use her ultimate technique, Ice Shell. This would mark the end of Ur's tale because for those who have, may have forgotten, Ice Shell is a spell that traps the targets eternally at the cost of the caster's life. Later on in the story of Fairy Tale, a character called Ultir Milkovic becomes very important to Grey because she's in fact the daughter of Ur, the daughter said to be dead. So at the Tender Island, Grey finds out about Ulter's true past, where she was pretty much taken and told that her mother wanted nothing to do with her, and that is when things got interesting because Ulter then finds out that, that what she had been told was not the truth at all. Yes, all lies to make sure she would finish whatever they were doing to her while she was in captivity. That arc pretty much connected Ulter and Grey, so then if we for fast forward quite a bit to the Grand Magic Games arc, something happened. When the dragons came through the Eclipse Gate, and Grey was supposedly killed, Ultir cast a spell that marked the end of her journey. But it did not kill her. It, this was of course that spell which pulled back time a few minutes at the cost of her life essentially. Except it seemed to eat away at her lifespan instead. She became this old lady, at least I think she did, I'm not even sure. And so Grey had lost another one with a close tie to his past but the fuckery in his life didn't end there because when it kicks into the Sun Village and Tartar's Ark, we find out that there's a member who has a very close connection to Grey. And that man, of course, turned out to be Silver Fullbuster, Grey's deceased father. We find out that Silver isn't actually alive but has been resurrected as a puppet by the Tartar's member called Keys. And Silver's ultimate goal before leaving everything to his son was to make him get over Deliora by posing as Deliora, which of course in the end did not take on Grey, but once Juvia brought Keys down, Silver also died resulting in Grey inheriting his magic. And so, Grey had lost his parents, his teacher, his teacher's daughter and his father a second time. I mean, you would think I'm shitting you and I'm telling you it's not even over, because in the Alvar's war, he watched Yuvia supposedly die in front of him, which left a pretty deep wound within him which turned out to be the fuel he needed to beat Invel to a pulp. But we of course know, or at least the ones who've read the manga will know that Yuvia didn't die, because hero. Alright, I think that covers all the fucked up shit that Grey has endured that we know of. So much death and one fake death. Can anyone else in Fairy Tales seriously top Grey when it comes to sad pasts? I mean, I don't think there's anyone who can possibly top it. Well, I'll be ending the video here. Let me know what you think about Grey's past. Is it the worst imaginable out of all characters in Fairy Tale, or can someone actually top it? Comment down below. And as always, if you did, please like this video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Bye.